Hey, hi, hello everyone. I'm Naval Yamul. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Data Master. In this playlist, we are going to look at the complete Delta Life Table framework, starting with the very scratch, looking at the sample data set from the Databricks, and moving further to build our pipeline with our own use case. So let us begin now. Now I'm going to talk about the Delta Life Table. So Delta Life Table is a declarative ETL framework that is built by the Databricks and for all your Databricks data intelligence platform. So it is different from your traditional approach. In traditional, we used to create a notebooks. We need to develop it. We used to test it and then we need to use the workflows for automation. And in the workflows, we used to schedule it. We used to trigger it and then we used to monitor it later on. So there were so many tools we were using it when it comes to a traditional approach. But now Databricks have introduced this new new feature or they have introduced a new ETL framework that helps you to simplify all this ETL process in one single platform. So whether you are looking at a batch data or if you are looking at a streaming data and if you are talking about creating a pipeline, automating that pipeline, doing a task torque task orchestration and your cluster management. And yes, when it comes to creating a pipeline, you are improving the data quality, keeping in mind a lake house architecture. So lake house is like we are moving our data from bronze to silver, silver to gold and monitoring that error handling. All is what the data engineering ETL work is. So we can do all this in one single framework and that's called Delta Life table or simply it is called termed as DLT. So it's a new method, new framework. When you compare to the traditional, we use many other components there, but in this we have only one single framework. So you can see this documentation that helps you to achieve the medallion architecture. Now, if you compare it to the traditional approach, we were using a medallion architecture. We were implementing it, but the things were a little bit tedious. When you have hundreds of tables, when you have uh, like hundreds of silver tables and gold tables, the data dependency becomes really very difficult. So you have to do it all manually and improving the data quality for all these tables becomes little bit difficult. But when you move towards the Delta Live table, most of the things are automated, like dependency becomes automated automation and your uh, data management also becomes automated. So most of the things becomes automated. And the beauty of this Delta Live table is you can easily improve the data quality as you are moving your data from bronze to silver to the gold. And we have a concept of apply changes API. With this apply changes API, you can simply implement SED type 1 and SED type 2. So I hope you have an understanding on what is slowly changing dimensions type 1 and type 2. It is really very difficult to implement SRE type 2 in our traditional approach where we try to use a merge absurd statements to implement SRE type 2. It's a big challenge in the enterprise and traditional approach. But trust me, your Delta Live table approach is so simple for SRE implementation. We are going to talk about that implementation in the coming sessions now. So first we are going to look at the sample data we are going to build a pipeline using that sample data that is provided by the Databricks. And later on, we are going to build our own pipeline with our own use case. So let me explain you this. We are using the same medallion architecture. We are going to ingest all our raw data from your source to the bronze. After ingestion, we start doing the transformations where we are improving the data quality and then moving to the silver. In traditional approach, there are many ways to do this. You can do it by using PySpark data frame or you can use it by using PySpark SQL. There are many ways. But uh, when it comes to ingesting, again, you can use a copy into command or you can also use a PySpark structure streaming or you can use an autoloader and so on. But here we can use either SQL or Python. We will stick to the SQL. It's so simple. Anyone who knows SQL, they can easily do a complete end to end ETL by using this simple framework, super framework. And you're doing a data transformation 
in the sequel only you don't need to go back and learn a complex uh like a complex coding you don't need to know that by just writing a simple constraints we can improve the data quality checks and then we are going to even create a model like a fact and dimension star schema and so on and move our data to the gold and your gold tables are now consumed to your downstream people like your sql analytics for ai and your ml or even that helps you to share your data across the organization or outside the organization as well so you can do all this with the delta live table so let me just scroll down i'll give you the link for this documentation you can go and check in detail what uh, how you can do the data ingestion effectively using auto loader streaming we have so many feet options here and how you can improve the data quality transformations implementing modeling architectures and so on you can check this now moving further yeah you look at this table like if you might say that okay already we are building up a lake house architecture we are already uh, using a notebooks using a workflows to do the automation and everything yes we can do it but let us compare this with our delta life table so we can do all this uh, unity catalog is there orchestration is there by using a workflows and so on and yes even you can use your delta life table pipeline and orchestrate in your databricks workflows oh databricks workflows is like a jobs even you can take one task of the dlt and you can start orchestrating that we will see how to do that then when it comes to data flow orchestration or the data quality checks error handling your ci cd version control and auto scaling these all are done but manually you have to take care of doing all this but when it comes to delta life table pipeline your pipeline or your databricks does care of everything and it's everything automated you don't need to worry about it even your auto scaling feature your versioning your data management everything is handled by the databricks delta life table framework so you just need to focus on your business logic you need to focus on your data and just proceed further and all the things are taken care by the databricks and one very important thing is when it comes to delta live table we have an ability just to use a job compute so by default delta live table only uses a job compute it will never use a all purpose compute you don't have that option to use a all purpose compute we just stick to the job compute so when you are creating a pipeline it will just use a job compute and not a all purpose compute now we got a recent update also even you can use a serverless compute a serverless warehouse serverless warehouse is nothing but all the infrastructure is taken care by the databricks and it spins in only 4 to 5 seconds and even you can attach your serverless sql compute to the delta live table pipelines but the only condition is you need to have only sql code and not a python code as i told you delta live table uses sql or python but we will stick it to the sql and in sql as i've again told you you can use a uh, all purpose comp you can use a job compute and you can also use a serverless but we will stick to the job compute we will stick to the job compute so let us start implementing the delta live table so first we will implement the delta live table using our sample data set that is provided by the databricks and after that implementation we are going to use our own data set to implement it and take it further to implement sd type 1 type 2 how to handle the cdc data and so on so first let us look at the sample data set implementation the delta live table see you in the next video guys thank you i request you to please subscribe to my channel and share this video for every uh, to everyone thank you